How's it going, guys? Past level question for Genix for step one. I'm going to be a very short clip here. We have a 39 year old woman with Wilson disease. And we know it's Wilson disease because we have Kaiser Fleischer ring, which is copper deposition circumferentially within the membrane of the cornea. So, autosomal recessive condition, chromosome 13. Question wants to know which of the following most likely seen patients. Hop to the answer choice here, choice A. Decreased urinary cation versus decreased urinary copper, wrong fucking answer. So, you're going to have increased urinary copper, not decrease. Now, the pathogenesis for Wilson disease is an inability to secrete copper into bile, which is normally how we excrete copper. So because we can't excrete it into bile, as a result, there's going to be spillage into the urine. So we have increased urinary copper in Wilson disease. Choice A, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, increased serum stroboplasmin, wrong fucking answer. So stroboplasma is the copper transport protein in the body. And because we have copper excess in tissues, they're going to, there's going to be a compensatory attempt to decrease copper transport. So it's the combination in Wilson disease of increased urinary copper, decreased cereloplasmin. You have to know for you assimilate. Increased serum cereloplasmin, wrong fucking answer. Try to see increased secretion count on bile, wrong fucking answer. As I just said, pathogenesis for Wilson disease is a decreased ability to secrete it into bile. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, kinky, steely hair, wrong fucking answer. So this refers to Menkes disease, nonsense, garbage diagnosis for you assimilate. Never seen it show up on an NBME exam. Okay, you might see it in QBank. Okay, but QBank's not the real deal. Menkes disease is a decreased ability to properly transport copper between tissues. So some tissues can be deficient of copper. Other tissues can be in excess of copper. But characteristically, it can have steely or kinky hair. As I already said, garbage diagnosis for you, Simili. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, shuffling gate, correct answer. Parkinsonism in a young patient is Wilson disease until proven otherwise. It's known as a Parkinson plus disorder. A Parkinson plus disorder is a condition where it looks like Parkinson disease, but it's not. And as I just said, in a young patient, Parkinsonism, cogwheel rigidity, shuffling gait, uh, pill rolling tremor, Wilson disease till proven otherwise. Now, micrographia as well. Now, older patients who have Parkinsonism, where it's not Parkinson's disease, you'd be thinking of Lewy body dementia, okay, visual hallucinations, Parkinsonism, normal pressure hydrocephalus, wet wobbly wacky, plus or minus Parkinsonism, exceedingly high yield, progressive supranuclear palsy, okay, axial dystonia, which is a presentation similar to Stephen Hawking. Okay, that's axial dystonia plus Parkinsonism. Okay, it's progressive supranuclear palsy, more of a TCK diagnosis, but it shows up. So in a younger patient, you're going to think Wilson disease. And if they force you to choose a location for where it's deposited in the brain, because it deposits in the basal ganglia, you're going to choose putamen. Okay, so what they can do is give you an MRI or CT of the head with letters at different locations, and they'll give you an easy vignette of Wilson disease, and you're just going to choose the putamen. Okay, so you can get uh, hepatic insufficiency as well. So it can deposit in the liver, cause cirrhosis, can deposit in the CNS, cause Parkinsonism, as I just mentioned. And you need to know increased urinary copper, decreased serum cereoplasm. Correct answer. You know the deal. If you make more content, I click my stuff. Subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.